So I've got a clip for you. My scary friend. I'll let you figure that out. There you go. We've got the, we've got the strap up there. All right. The tale of the three brothers. There were once three brothers who were traveling along a lonely, winding road at twilight. In time, the brothers reached a river too deep to wade through and too dangerous to swim across. However, these brothers were learned in the magical arts, and so they simply waved their wands and made a bridge appear across the treacherous water. They were halfway across it when they found their path blocked by a hooded figure. Dun, dun, dun. And death spoke to them. He was angry that he had been cheated out of three new victims. For travelers usually drowned in the river. But death was cunning. Very cunning. He pretended, he pretended to congratulate the three brothers upon their magic. And said that each had earned a prize for having been clever enough to evade him. So the oldest brother, who was a combative man, asked for a wand more powerful than any in existence. A wand that must always win duels for its owner. A wand worthy of a wizard who had conquered death. So death crossed to an elder tree on the banks of the river, fashioned a wand from a branch that hung there, and gave it to the oldest brother. And death, most unwillingly, handed over his own cloak of invisibility. Then Death stood aside and allowed the three brothers to continue on their way. And they did so, talking with wonder of the adventure they had had. He sought out a fellow wizard with whom he had a quarrel. You're the wizard. You're the wizard. Okay, okay. Naturally, with the Elder Wand as his weapon, he could not fail to win the duel that followed. Leaving his enemy dead upon the floor, the oldest brother proceeded to an inn where he boasted loudly of the powerful wand he had snatched from death himself, and of how it made him invincible. That very night, another wizard crept upon the oldest brother as he lay, wine sodden, upon his bed. The thief took the wand and, for good measure, slit the oldest brother's throat. <laughs> Rest in peace. So as to truly join her, <laughs> for the third brother, for many years, he was never able to find him. It was only when he had attained a great age that the youngest brother finally took off the cloak of invisibility and gave it to his son. I'm your son. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Okay. And then he greeted death as an old friend. And they went with him gladly, and equals, they departed this life. <laughs> the end.